congratulations, first of all. You are amazing, amazing. I would send people to watch this just to watch your characters on the screen. That's very nice, thanks. Yeah, not very often an actor gets to play two leading roles in one film. Was, no. that, a, was that a big draw for you? Well, come on, you know, actors, <laughs> like, uh, actors scrape and claw for one good role, so you offer an actor two good roles in a movie, you, you've got them. Especially when it's your buddy bringing you the material. Yeah, um, I had known Tim, I had known Tim in New York, and I knew his writing because he, he had written plays, and I'd seen this movie he had done called The Gray Zone, which was really, really well done. And, um, and he had given me one other script, which I thought was very, very well written. Um, so I wasn't surprised that it was good, because he's a very good writer, but I really, um, it was very flattering, because it was obviously such a, not only was it obviously a very complicated thing, uh, challenge as an actor, but it, but it obviously meant a lot to him, because it, it um, in, in a lot of ways, I actually think the two characters are really Tim's personality split in half. <laughs> he, he really is both, both of those guys in some ways. And, um, and it was so much about where he's from and his own experiences that I, you know, it was flattering that he wanted me to work on it with him. You mentioned the challenges. Let's talk a little bit about that because what I, I, I was fascinated in watching you play opposite yourself on the screen, and it was like watching completely different people. What did you find you? Did you lose your? Did you lose? Did you start to just relate to them as two separate people? I did, yeah. but you know, it took a few seconds because I was just in awe and watching. You know, one <laughs> bounce off the other. But 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 yeah. But then you completely you know just go into the, these are two different guys, which yeah. was really really interesting. Oh, fun. One of the yeah, things that impressed me, I, I, Tim, Tim, was very, Tim is very calculating and very careful, and I thought he did a really interesting thing, which is the very first time that you see them together, he, he, he presented the two of them in a very, in a very, uh, in a very uh, presentational way. Like, it, it's a very formal way. The, the first time you're really cutting between the two twins and you just see them standing, facing each other in the same room, mm -hmm. And it's almost like he's like, okay, let's let's let you really get a good look at the, the let's get the it trick. out of the way. But then, as the film goes on, the interactions get messier and messier and messier until the camera's moving and they're moving around each other. And I think my my favorite ones are the ones where Tim took it. He really, he really, he he imagined this in a way where it get it really gets away from most of what you've seen in twins films, where it's just ping ponging between the two. Um, he, he came up with moving camera shots and ways that they could touch each other and blend in. It was really, I, I think he took it further than most of the Twins films that I've seen. Yeah, really cool. The Southern guy was amazing too. Did you see guys like that, meet guys like that when you were in Oklahoma? I did, yeah. And there was, even though I'm, I'm not from, from Oklahoma, my, I'm from the South and I knew, I, I grew up with guys who, I mean, I really, really, I went and looked at some of the pictures from kids in my high school. Um, and and old like pictures of Tom Petty. I looked at like Tom Petty in 1977, you know, or Dwayne Allman, some of those Southern rock guys that we all grew up on. And that's what originally Tim hadn't thought of Brady being that much of a Southern sort of rock kind of guy. And um, but he fell in love with it, and and um, I really liked it. I, I liked letting him be. It was really letting cool. Letting him letting him be good. the full the full animal. I just wanted to mention that my uh, friend, my colleague, saw you in a cameo in um, uh, The Invention of Lying. And, oh, yeah, uh, I haven't seen that oh, yet. Oh, she said the audience went crazy. <laughs> um, and without giving anything away, can you just tell us how you hooked up with Ricky Gervais on this? Well, he, I, I'm one of those people who thought that The Office, the British Office, was like one of the greatest, I think it was one of the greatest bits of comedy on television in, in forever. I, I mean, I thought it was just like a, an absolute mm -hmm. classic. And um, so I, I was a big fan, and I, I can't remember how the word got passed, but uh, so he, he asked if I would do some a, a little bit, and I only worked one day on it, and it was a riot. Mm, so I hear. I like to see that. It's on. It's tonight. Uh, tonight is the big screening. Yeah, I know. It overlaps with ours, so yes, I can't. I know. It, but, what uh, a shame. He's he's <laughs> he's really really talented. Um, but uh, yeah, it's fun. It's fun to bring the film to the festival. Well, it's good to have show. you here. Yeah. Thanks so much for being here, Pleasure. and uh, much success with this movie. Thanks. Thank you.